hello welcome back to a J love video today i'm just here sitting at a park and just uh hanging out reading the word and and i was just really thinking about a lot of you know a lot of stuff and i'm like lord what do you want to what do you want me to do you know and what do you like me to share and he goes son i want you to talk about what 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 do you do with loneliness or what do you do when nobody wants to hang out and I'm like well Lord I talk about that a lot and so and I was like I don't know you know and the and the crazy thing is guys like cause I want to be real I want I want you to know who you know J Love is and you know yeah I do come to the park by myself and I do come to different like I, I, I do a lot of walk by myself and I do a lot of things alone and you know yes it is hard to get people to come and you know hang out with me it, it's hard to get people to to um, have a hard time to have a meal with me or or just even want to hang out you know and so and I was thinking to myself and I'm like you know I want to encourage these young people that have to deal with this every day you know um, I know you wake up in the morning and you're like, man, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do because nobody wants to hang out with me. Um, or it's like, what can I do? You know, how do, how do I make friends? How do I make people know that I am a good person to hang out with? You know, and that's what I struggle with every day. And it's like, we have to really tell ourselves that we're not bad enough we are good enough kids with disability kids that have a have to go through life without having make it be able to hang out with people and it's hard it's very hard but the thing is though what i have to do you guys is i had to to find something that i really really needed to help me get through life every day I have to get through life every day, right? We have to get through life every day. We have to get through things that we don't, that it's so hard to get through, but why is it so hard to get there? It's because we have to really understand there is something out there that's going to help us. And when I found myself talking to God one day, to Jesus one day, and all suddenly, I just heard him say, I want to be your best friend. I want to be the friend that you need in your life right now. And I'm like, wow, how can... I, I want this. Like, I want that. I want someone to be my best friend. And so I was just like, thinking to myself, and how can I make this work? How can I make this work? And, and, I, and all suddenly, the Lord goes, or Jesus spoke to me and he goes, I can help you make it work. When you fully surrender to me. When you fully surrender everything to me, I will give you your hope, a future, a life. I will get, help you with your desires in life, what you want to do in life. And I know this is hard for a lot of people. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to harm to shout you. I'm not trying to I have speak to that you. But I'm trying to help you understand you're never eating alone. You're ne I'm never at the table alone. I'm not at a park alone. I'm at the park with Jesus. Yeah, there's people around me. There's people walking around me. And there's people walking. And there's people sitting over there playing on the playground. Or stuff like that. But I'm never alone because I have Jesus. Some of you might have a hard time understanding that. But I want you to know Jesus loves you so much. And he wants to help you get through everything that you're going through. He wants to help you get through your your thinking. He help you with your mindset. He wants to help you with your heart. He wants to help you with friends that he wants to give you. He wants to help you with the people that are going to make you be the person that you need to be. And I, I struggled with this for a long time, you guys. 
But I want you to know you're not alone. And you're never alone. You, we've got to find something that really would help you get through your day, your life. This is why I want to encourage you guys. Every morning when you wake up, when you look in the mirror, even if you're a Christian or not, when you look in the mirror, I want you to tell yourself this. I am a handsome and a beautiful person. When a guy, guys, when you say I'm a handsome person in the mirror, girls, when you say I am beautiful person in the mirror, they're making Jesus smile. That's going to start helping you get through your day. You need to start telling yourself you're a handsome and you're beautiful. Every day when you look in the mirror. It doesn't matter how many times a day in the, you need to look in that mirror. You need to tell yourself that. Even if you have a disability or not. You need to tell yourself that. Because when you tell yourself that. Every day you're going to see great things happen. You're going to see the things that need to happen happen. I never believed it till I started doing it. And I started seeing things happen. You know, I don't... You know, I know there's things that are tough and there's things that are rough. I, I always want my phone to ring and someone say, Hey, do you want to come and hang out? I would always love to have that. But I don't have that all the time. I don't have that all the time. But when I had to do it, I had to tell myself, Jesus, I need you right now. A lot of you need Jesus right now. We all need Jesus right now. But I know if you surrender your life to Jesus, you give him everything. I promise you guys, he is going to give you so much love that you need. So much love that no one can ever give you, but he can give you. His love is unconditional. His love is so amazing that I can't get enough of. You know, I go to work. You know, of course we go to work. But you're surrounded by a lot of people. And I started telling my the people that, you know, are getting their groceries before they leave, I say, have an amazing day, have a beautiful day. Have a blessed day. When you start telling, start saying that to people, you will see the, you will see so much. You will see greater things. That you're giving so much glory to God when you do that, and it's amazing. I I, I love telling people, have a beautiful day, have an amazing day, have a blessed day. Because that's true. I, we want them to have that amazing day. We don't want people to have a bad day or a bad day. And that's what with a lot of these young people have to deal with every day. When they don't have friends. Nobody wants to hang out with them. Because God called us. Um, like if, even in your own family. Like in your own family. That's what God is trying to do. He's trying to build family for the for the ones that need it. A spiritual family, a physical family, or maybe even trying to work with your family to understand your child needs your love. Your kid needs love right now. Will you go out and love on your child? Or this or this kid needs it. Or this young person needs to be in a spiritual family. I'm going to help this young person be in a spiritual family. Family's huge. Family's huge. You know, I get a lot of prophetic words about family. And God gives me so much prophetic words about family. And the Lord wants to restore and heal and break through a lot of these families right now. To where they can come back together, become one. They can become together. They can be a family where they could talk, have supper, have dinner, have lunch, have breakfast, be able to talk about things and what's going on, help each other out. And I just really feel like that's what we need. 
right now, you know, a spiritual family or, or a family that you're, you have that is just never around and never be able to talk to you. I want to encourage you, family, to really step out and reach out to your child, your kid, because they need the love. You don't understand. They're not, they might not say anything, but you should always reach out to your children because children need to be loved on. Even adults need to be loved on. Everyone needs to be loved on. Let's do this together. Let's work together and let trust God. According to Him, God's love will radically come through right now. He's going to come through and just help us through everything that we're going through. I've gone through all this. So I'm, so I'm, I'm reversing it back into the way Jesus is speaking right now. He wants to help. He wants to rescue. He wants to save from our thinking, our mind. So, every time you go, I'm going to wrap up here. Every time you go to a park or you're on a walk, always remember you're not alone. Jesus is always with you. And God will always be by your side. Because He loves you so, so much. Jesus' love is so unconditional. It's so amazing. I could talk about this for hours. How His love. I want to read a Bible verse real quick. Romans 8, 28. And we know that God caused everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. Dear Lord, I pray for my family and friends right now. Lord, we just pray, Lord, that, that they're struggling to get loved or if they're struggling to understand they are handsome and are beautiful, we ask you to come to them right now, God. We break off any insecurity that they have on them right now, Lord. We break it off. Father, I pray right now you would bless them, God. You would let them know how much you love them, Lord. Even if they're eating alone or walking alone or even whatever they're doing alone, that they would know that you're always there. You would bless them in Jesus' name. Amen.